How's it going guys? Uh, Juan Santos here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve a combination circuit in using DC theory. And what we have here today, uh, we're going to be solving for the voltage drop across one of the components. The combination circuit here, except the resistor that we're looking for the voltage across is in, in parallel with another resistor. However, it's in series with two other resistors. So, uh, if we remember the rules for series circuit, uh, current stays the same through all the components. I know that the current that goes through R1 is the same current that comes through R4. Okay, so whatever comes into the circuit has to come out of the circuit. So, the current combined between these two components is the same as the current that goes through 1 and 4. Okay, that's the rules for a series circuit. Okay, so in order to do this, I need to solve first for the reciprocal value of 2 and 3. Okay, and then I need to solve for the total resistance. So, in order to solve for the voltage drop across uh, the, the second resistor, this is the first step. I need to solve for uh, the reciprocal of 2 and 3, which here's your formula, the reciprocal formula, and the two components are 250 and 375. You punch this into your calculator and you get a total resistance across these two components of 150 ohms. Okay? Now, these other two resistors are in series with 2 and 3. So the total resistance now is equal to R1 plus R23 plus R4, which gives us then a total of 500 ohms across uh, the total circuit. Now that we have the total resistance, we can solve for the total current. Using Ohm's law, the total current is equal to the total voltage divided by the total resistance. So in this case, the voltage value was 250 divided by 500, gives us uh, 0.5 amps uh, that's flowing through this circuit. This same 0.5 amps is the same current that flows through both of these two resistors combined together. So all I have to do is take the total current, 0.5 amp, multiply it by the reciprocal value of 2 and 3 of 150, and that gives me a voltage drop across 2 of 75 volts. Now keep in mind, this same 75 volts is the same voltage across R3. So if I wanted to solve for the individual currents across these two, now that I have the voltage, I can do that. But in this case, all we're looking for is for the voltage drop across the second resistor, and this is how you solve it. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. If you like it, thumbs up. Please subscribe.